It's fucked up how they doing Chris Brown. The network behind the Nickelodeon's Quiet On Set is to release a documentary on the history of Chris Brown Domestic V. If y'all ain't know, everybody know about the Chris Brown situation, man. And it's like, bro, why is we talking about Chris Brown situation that happened a long ass time ago, bro? When it's hundreds and thousands of other rappers that's doing a lot worse shit like P. Diddy. I ain't gonna cap. We gotta let it go, man. Because it's like, bro, I don't even think Rihanna give a fuck about this shit no more. I don't think she give a fuck about it no more. Because it's like, man, he already dealt with the consequences, the backlash. And we all got over it, man. It's fucked up what he did. But it's like, man, this shit old as hell, man. Now, if he was still out here, ma, 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 for women and shit, then it's like, okay, bro, make a documentary on him. But if y'all fit to talk about the same old ass shit for when I was a little ass kid, bro, just, 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 just don't even do it, man. Just don't even do it. I know Chris Brown punching the air after he heard this shit. He getting on Black China ass. Her ex-boyfriend claimed that she attacked him while he was asleep, and he's suing her for $10 million over the incident. Now, I honestly don't know if he's going to win this case because most of the time, when a man say a woman did something to him, they don't take it as serious as a woman saying a man did something to him. And it's fucked up, but that's how the world is, you feel me? Well, they got some beef going on. Glow really reacts to Rod Wave announcing his album, Last Lap, dropping on the same day as she debuted her album, Glorious. She said, why the fuck would you drop on my day? I'm finna tweak out. In the rap industry, they get mad as hell when someone drop on the same day as them because it's like, man, you limiting they reach because motherfuckers is going to be motherfucking fucking with your album and they album where everybody could just be going to they album on that day. And then you could have your day where everybody going to your album. But motherfuckers still fuck with you. They going to fuck with motherfucking his album and your album if they fuck with both motherfuckers. So I don't think it's really going to affect it that much. And I never seen Rod Wave even hang out or talk with Glorilla, so I don't really think it's a problem if a motherfucker don't even fuck with you like that. Like, if it's one of your homies and shit that you cool with in the industry and they drop on the same day as you, that's pretty fucked up. I don't know what happened to him in jail, but they said Bobby Schmurter haven't been the same since he got out. Look at this video. If you try to make money on through your phone, check out the bio. I ain't going to cap, the sexy red playing in the background made it look a lot more worse. And I ain't finna flash to you. He is moving a little bit zesty inside the videos and shit. But what do y'all think? Every time when I say someone moving zesty, they try to get on my ass because I'm a light skin and shit, bro. But it's like, bro, don't get mad at me because I'm telling y'all what I see. This how women really think. If anybody agree with Cardi B in this situation, bro, you do not need to mess with them at all. She says, so single pregnant women can't have S, but a single man that's expecting a child on the way can. Y'all tough. Motherfuckers ain't saying this right what Offset did, but he don't get no kid inside his body. Like, that's disrespectful to your motherfucking kid letting a man do that while you pregnant. And even if she did do the shit okay, she shouldn't have let the world know this shit just because... Now motherfuckers is going to be talking about her kid. You don't understand. A kid hearing that from the world is going to make them feel some type of way. Because anytime her kid try to talk crazy and they know about this situation, they're going to be like, bro, you what, 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 what you feel while, while you was inside your mama's stomach? They're going to be making all type of jokes because of Cardi B and her actions. And Lil Reese just reacted saying, y'all four or threes are slow and lost if y'all agree with her. Because it's just not the same, bro. And honestly, it's double standards in the world. It's fucked up, but that's how it go. And women love the benefits off the double standards that they get. But they want to also benefit off the men double standards. That's not how it work. Women want to get treated like pretty, pretty princesses. But then they want to do the same shit that men do and act like dogs. Nah, you want to act like a man, you ain't going to get treated like a princess. I think that DNA test might be wrong. They said... That he's not the biological father. But looking at this kid and the dad, I would think that that's the biological father. But you see right here, they say he is not the father. I don't know if this cap and they just trying to make some shit up. But I think that DNA test is wrong. Here go another picture of the dad and the son. 
Now, I'm not even trying to be funny, but look at both their eyes. They literally got the same type of eyes. So, I'm assuming that that's his actual kid because it ain't no way that kid gonna have the exact same eye like his dad got. You feel me? On the same side and all. Unless the mama was messing with somebody that got the same type of eye as him. And I don't think she was doing that. I think that's just his kid, bro. I don't even know if this post is real or not, bro. Because they gotta be trolling. That looked like his kid. If these four dropped a surprise tape on the same day, who are you listening to first? If you're trying to make bread through your phone, check out the bio. But that ain't gonna cap to you. If we could only listen to one of their tapes, I'm gonna have to go with Youngboy. Because Youngboy is my favorite artist out of these rappers. But if we could listen to two people, I'll go with Lil Durk and NBA Youngboy because I don't really listen to Rod Wave like that, you feel me? But since I think we can only choose one, I'm going with NBA Youngboy. What y'all going with, though, if y'all can only listen to one tape? This kid might be on to something. She explained why we don't need school. She said we don't need English because we speak it. We don't need math because we got a calculator. We don't need drama because we got TikTok. We don't need history because we got our grandparents. We don't need science because we got Coke and Mentos. We don't need Spanish because we got Dora. We don't need reading because you're reading this. And you don't need music because you got Spotify. And you don't need writing because you got texting. I ain't going to cap a couple of them I don't know about because you do need to write because, you know, certain documents you can only write down and shit. Even though lots of shit is online now, you feel me? And motherfucking the science shit, we don't really need to know about science, you feel me? You don't need that shit unless you're trying to do some shit with science. But all this other shit, she right. And she did all this shit just for them to say, yo ass is still going to school. Nice try. Who let them have kids? Arkansas parents allegedly attempt to sell their infant for beer and 1K. Yeah, that's all their kid is worth in their eyes. Documents state that deputies responded to a campground after they received calls that the parents of a two-month-old baby was attempted to sell their child for a six-pack of beer, cashier check of $1,000. The caller also stated the baby needed medical attention. Deputies arrived to the scene to find the parents not at the campground, the baby was taken to the hospital. So I guess they just left the baby there once they found out they caught the police on their ass. And this is why certain motherfuckers shouldn't be allowed to have kids. Like, bro, they got to go through a mental background test and they should be watched for at least a couple months to make sure they're capable of having kids. It should be a mandatory first-time parent class for everybody because this shit is not a game, bro. And motherfuckers just think it's a game. I think the Turtle vs. Rabbit was based on a real story. Who y'all think is going to win this? Y'all going to be surprised. And if you're trying to make $7.50 a week, check out the bio. And I ain't going to capture you. This is not scripted at all. Look at this shit. The bunny just cool. He know that he's fast as hell, so he don't even got to worry about the turtle for real. Honestly, they don't even know they racist. Let's be real. I feel like if the bunny knew that they was racist, he would have really ran. But his ass just going slow. And the turtle... Winning. Slow and steady win the race. You feel me? This shit crazy.